welcome back hi friends hope you are fine today we are going to make these beautiful animation you can see so in second line we are i am going to reveal my name from random text okay you can see and this is the last line explain what i am doing okay so now let start this is our index.html okay this is style and this is script okay so this is normal boiler plates okay so here i just link css and here i just link script okay so the first step is we have to make one here uh, opening we have to make one div okay this is hero div okay so inside the hero div we are going to take h2 tag okay inside h2 tag we take span i okay and also i n so it look like this and so another i take h1 tag okay id name name and data value of muhammad abdullah and also is display muhammad abdullah so it look like this okay and below h1 i take h2 tag also having id working okay is up to you and working as a web developer so it's initially it's look like this okay so data this is very important attribute if you want to give any value and any specific data you want to store in html tag so we have to use data so the main so main keyword is data okay hyphen this value it's up to you you can name name value is up to you you can choose any name which you want which you like okay so this is our html word. now it's time to css so here i just import roboto font okay so it's look like this and also this is in hyphen okay and margin and pattern zero so now it's look like this okay and here i take body so this is body tag okay inside the body tag we give background color okay and make it flex okay and justify content center alignment item center minimum height 100 vi okay form family roboto so hope you have little knowledge about css you have some knowledge about okay so so if i remove if just minimum height now look see it look like this so it doesn't take full height okay if i give border one pixel solid red so you can see it take only it's not taking full height so it's make sure we give full height okay that's why i use minimum height okay now i give hero hero section okay this is our hero section in hero section we take width max width 100% okay and width 850 okay so initially it's look like this display flex and justify content center alignment items and start okay justify a flex direction column so flex direction two properties one is row and one is column if i make it row then it look like this okay so i so this is h1 okay h1 tag okay. so this is h1 tag so h1 color black font size min okay i am using min function it take five view width okay it take one percent of 
view width sorry 5% of view width view width means total width 100% okay and maximum 5 rem so now it's taking maximum 5 rem okay text transform upper case max width 850 pixel and width 100% okay and start this is our class name i give to span okay class so now it's look like this and this is as to tag okay as to tag for size 30 pixel position relative line height to rm if i remove line height then it's look like this it take space so we have to remove this space okay so as to okay i target last side so what is our last side this is our this is our last side okay total number of s2 in our project 2 okay s2 number of 2 2 times in our project so this is first and this is last side okay so i target last last side align self flex and margin right 70 pixel so it's look like this okay so it's time to make javascript so this is our alphabet having a to z okay character a to z character 1 2 and make it upper case so this is java string function in javascript to make string into upper case okay and this is our function window dot onload okay when we land or we reload this page this function will be called so inside we make one function animate working so this function belong working as a web developer okay and one more function animate header text to so, mohammad abdul okay so it's time to make animate working okay so we define just function animate working so inside the function we target working class okay this is our target we are going to target query selector target working class so this is our working okay it's not a class sorry it's id okay so here i store original text text dot in a text okay it text get all this okay h1 tag okay so i want to get mohammad abdullah okay so that's why i use in a tag so store in original text and make take one more variable which name is current value okay it will be let and split text original text dot split okay and split function it's a javascript built in function make string convert string into array so it convert our text mohammad abdullah into array so and this is index okay and here i am going to take set interval so we are going to make repetition okay loop so that's why set interval 130 second after 130 second this function will be call automatically mean inside code inside set interval will be call automatically after 130 second so i just make it index so this is our text in a text okay current value so this is in a text so we update current value we, we are going to pass current value into in a text okay and here we are going to update current value okay this is split value i also told you this is the split function convert string into array so this is array so i am getting index value so initially index will be zero so is get m initially m okay so mean why i am seeing m because my name start with m so that's it and here i am going to take if index value equal or greater than split dot length okay split value this is split value length length is a function to get the number length 
means how many element in array okay so clear interval we have to clear interval okay otherwise it will repeat continuously so this is condition if value index value will greater and equal to split dot length then you have to we have to close animation interval okay so if i just it's not working okay no problem so it's time to make sorry it's animate working okay now it's time to make okay it's working you can see working as a web browser so it's look like this so it's time to make muhammad abdullah animation okay so i define animate header text okay inside we we are getting name this is name id okay and also take variable iteration and we are defining set interval okay inside interval we just get header in a text so here we are direct assign header in a text here we are taking text in a text okay so here header this is header dot in a text okay equal to header dot in a text dot split so split convert mohammed abdullah convert into mohammed abdullah is a string okay so it convert into array and map function map is a array function so map function will execute each item of the array so mean m u h here m u h double a okay so return alphabet mat dot flow mat dot render and multiply by 26 is the number of alphabet number okay total number of alphabet is 26 so so let's try now it's look like this okay so it's working continuously because we didn't clear interval so we have so here i just if index less than iteration so this is our iteration so it's get header dot data set so how we access this data value okay this is our real value okay we have to re reveal these text from this animation okay so data set dot value so here header dot data set dot value and index okay and now if iteration greater or equal to header dot data set dot value dot length so here i am going to check this value length okay if equal or greater then clear interval and here we are going to just update iteration so now it's look like this you can see so hope you enjoy this video